Well, good afternoon. All of the demonstrators have now gone, claiming a small victory here as they learned earlier this morning that the statue would not be moved today, but we're told it would be moved at a later time. This after they were threatened with arrest. So just so you know, it's your second warning for dispersal. And then after the third warning is when we start making arrests, right? A couple dozen or so protesters were blocking the alley to St. Adalbert Church, which was closed and consolidated in 2019 due to dwindling parishioners and maintenance costs. The Archdiocese wanted to move a replica of Michelangelo's La Pieta. Workers, however, uh, had removed part of the wall and were set to move the statue to its new home at nearby St. Paul Catholic Church, which is also in Pilsen, when the work was stopped. This church has been here for more than a century and has deep connections with both the Polish and Mexican communities. After the building department came out here to inspect the permits, they found that the archdiocese did not, in fact, have all of the proper paperwork in place to move the statue. Now, many in the community here are still fighting the archdiocese's decision to close the church. The archdiocese says they thought they had all the proper permits and paperwork complete to make that move today. But again, that was not the case. Alderman Byron. Cicho Lopez was here with demonstrators. He says he's been trying to work with Mayor Lightfoot's administration and the Archdiocese to discuss the future of this site, but Lopez says calls for a meeting since February have gone unanswered. This is inhumane, what's happened in the city of Chicago. It's an atrocity to even risk, to even talk about arresting parishioners for demanding a seat at the table to say we need to talk about this. Now, just a short time ago, some workers did go ahead and board up that hole that they had put into the wall to move the statue today. Now, once again, the Archdiocese is saying that they are going to refile all the paperwork that needs to be put in with the city to eventually move the statue, but we don't know when that date uh, could happen. We are live in Pilsen. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Thank you, Eric.